Resorts in the Green Mountain State are ready to welcome skiers and riders. It is opening day in Stowe tomorrow. ABC 22 Sam Israel checked out the conditions a day early. We are here at the Stowe Mountain Resort for the beginning of ski season, and I'm going to put my skills to the test. Amazing uh, conditions. We're really psyched. Super uh, excited to be skiing off the top of Mount Mansfield right here. Resort officials initially planned to open on Friday, but the warm weather delayed the resort by one day. Much of the snow came this past week from snowmaking in the recent snowfall. You can't make snow unless the temperature is below freezing. And even then, it's got to get down a little colder in order to really be efficiently making snow. So it was actually pretty perfect the way it turned and gave us this window. And once the window opened up, our crews were ready to really get to work on it. The resort added a new chairlift this season, the Sunrise Six Pack, the first six person lift in the resort's history. We've always, uh, you know, had uh, issues with getting people to the intermediate terrain that is found halfway up the mountain. So the idea is that with this lift, we're going to give our intermediates direct access to that, uh, to that great terrain that is found mid mountain. The resort is rolling out new parking policies this season that will go into effect December 2nd. Drivers will now have to pay for parking on weekends and holidays at the main base lodge. What that's aimed at is to get vehicles off the mountain road. Some of those low occupancy, single occupancy vehicles and create a smoother experience of getting here for everybody. Killington opens their resort on Friday. Okima will follow suit on Saturday and Sugarbush plans on opening next week. In Stowe, Sam Israel, ABC 22 News. All right, some turns there, Sam. Not too bad.